Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Ryuz and welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Uh, today I updated my vampire deck and man, vampire is so fun to play now. Uh, the new card, uh, Sheila, can easily win you games uh, since every time you activate your vampire's effect, your opponent got burned too. Um, and since we have more vampires that burn self to activate its effect, um, you can abuse Sheila's effect. So uh, here's a quick rundown of the deck. First off, uh, three Eternal Witch, and then two Butler. Uh, this card is awesome. Uh, this helps vampires immensely after getting wiped. Three Nijinoko. I used Soul Horse before, but I find Nijinoko works way better. Uh, 3 Armored Bat for draw power, 3 Banquet, 3 Gourmet, 2 Reaper, he's pretty good if you have the resource to burn yourself and can put pressure on your opponent since you can easily go 3 to 5 DP. Um, 3 Menace to search Gourmet and destroy your opponent, cost 4 or lower which activates fairly often. 3 Kala, I love this card, synergy with Sheila. And minus 200 pp to your opponent minions is pretty handy, surprisingly. 3 Power Consumption, 1 Tempted by a Vampire, I only use this as emergency recovery. 2 Officer for draw power and recover life if destroyed. To Roav, three sharply dressed. It's the same as destruction, but better. One Darkworm to deal with those pesky soldiers. Two Sheila, and one Rita to uh, prevent small minions from swarming. Well, that's about it for the deck rundown. Um, moving on with the replays. Our first match of the day is against Red BS. Um, I love this format, people are using old decks uh, here and there. And the meta is diversive which makes the game fun. On my turn I made this questionable decision to put a base mana and then summon a Nijino. Which you're not supposed to do since you're revealing that you're playing vampires or our hand is looking pretty much perfect, and we get another draw with Armored Bat and pass. The opponent summons Jigwum to clash with our Gourmet, which is, which is fine. Um, on our turn we top deck Witch, where we then activate Banquet to gain life, then we summon Kala, moving Butler to trigger its effect to get back our Gourmet and attack life and force. The opponent then summons Chainsaw Golem and Blader attacks our Phoenix, then summoning Jig Apollo Dragon. We get to base, then summons Dark Duskers uh, attacking our Sphinx, but we suck. On our turn, we attack and use Kala's effect, which wipes almost off all of their minions and activate sharply dress to destroy Duskers and gain to life. Opponent summons the 3 cost minion that gives charge to dragon and then summons chainsaw golem attacking our sphinx and moving back the 3 cost. At this point we know the opponent got nothing to fight back with so we summon Sheila moving butler to burn one more attacking with Kala while activating her effect to end the game. Our second match is up against soldiers. Um, when using other deck, I'm more scared of facing soldiers than tribals, since they are so oppressive. But somehow I managed to get this kind of hand on Concord match. Opponent summons swans, but more base mana and pass. On our turn, we put Rich down, uh, summons Gourmet and attacks Phoenix. 
on a monster or they summon another swan and hydro gunner attacking our phoenix on our turn we summon kala and armor that we summon uh, we attack with kala and wipe their wall and destroys his phoenix on their turn they summon barrier and the one cost dual elf when activates counter attack to boost the elf on our turn we attack face with gourmet and gets blocked we then summons reaper with the base then summons raw destroying barrier then attack with kala and almost wipes his board again on his turn he death beam our raw and summons sasabi we then top deck butler we summon sheila destroying sasabi but he revives and we try to hit face with gourmet and pass opponent summons barrier summons ryusei then summoning grena but doesn't attack top deck the perfect card to deal with this we summon drag worm nova destroying both Ryusei and Sazabi. We then use Dark Room Nova to attack Siren. We then use Kala to attack and burn one life. Then attack with Gourmet which gets blocked with Sazabi and finish it off with Sheila. Our third match is against Jewels, but with that force combination we could also be fighting tribals. We summon Ijinopo and pass. So the opponent is confirmed playing Jewels. Uh, we need to go a little bit fast fighting Jewels since the longer we fight them, the less chance of winning we got. The opponent is slowly building up their mana and activating Shining Fist to destroy our Ripper. Um, weird timing, but okay. Um, we summon Bat and then Gourmet and hitting Pegasus. Moving Gourmet to base and pass. The opponent summons Sapphire and goes directly to face. And we respond with Tempted by Vampire to get our Reaper black and block. We let two attacks pass since we still got Witch in hand. On our turn, we su activate Banquet, summons Raw, activates his effect twice to get more draws and hitting face for 3 with reaper and we move raw to base just in case he got amber the opponent summons the 7 cost dino moving spinel for direct attack then moving 2 more and summons erika so from this board we knew they got nothing so we activate the level 2 banquet which lets us jump over their minion and goes directly to face to end the game. Our fourth match is against a really weird mask of Broker Tribal Tech. Um, you'll see what I mean later. Oof, our hand is good, but we didn't get any one cost. Fortunately, we got one turn. We summon Gourmet, hit Phoenix, and move it to base and pass. Opponent summons Mask, hits Phoenix, Henshin, and then search lastly with uh, Jack's Magic and pass. On our turn, we summon Officer to get more trolls and attacks uh, and destroys his phoenix but he rested our force which I don't really mind since we are in a pretty safe position he summons another mask, move his mask from base um, destroying our phoenix and handling the tensions on our turn we summon menace searching for a banquet, move menace to base destroying one of his mask and then summons raw to destroy the other one and pass um, on his turn, he activates two lastly spell, then move tribal to base and pass. I don't see how we can lose at this point, so I summon Reaper and then 
summon two gourmet and activate Banquet. We destroyed his Ouroboros and tries to go for face and he activates Minor Aid which heals him for 3. On his turn he activates Jack's second magic and lastly third magic to destroy wall. And we top deck Sheila which might be the perfect card to finish them off. We summon Sheila, activate her effect, moving Menace to base, activates her effect too. And we should be good to hit face now since our Ripper is ripped and ready to end this. Our last match is against another Jewelist. Um, but this time uh, with the Jigrom Nova package. Our opponent summons Erika and Pass. On our turn, we summon Nijinoko, move it to base, and pass. Our opponent probably has Jigrom Nova on his hand, so we have to be careful of the white. Um, our turn, we summon Bat and Gourmet and pass. Our opponent will summon Sapphire to go directly to face and we activate Sapphire because we need as much life as possible when dealing with this kind of deck. We block Onyx since he doesn't have any other jewel in base. On our turn we summon another bat and then Kala activates her effect and kills two Erika. Uh, we go for Siren and life and... Summon our last bat. On his turn, he summons Moonstone, move it to base, and activate Resonance of Gems to copy Sapphires, and activate the Legend spell. Then summon the one cost Jewelist, move it to base, and he doesn't attack. Um, on our turn, we summon Menace, move it to base, destroy his copy, activate Banquet, and then summoning Office to get three more rolls and hit space for three. At this point I just remembered he got Jigworm Nova and went oh shit. Uh, but we got plenty of life so we got this boys. He summons diamond and finally dropping the big boy and but didn't attack again. Okay. On our turn we summon Rolf and destroy his Jigworm Nova and summon officer and get Sheila. Alright, uh, we got this in the bag. On his turn, he activates another Resonant of Gems to copy Sapphire, moving one of his Sapphire to field, and attacks Phoenix, which we respond with Tempted by Vampire. Um, Diamond attacks, and we block with the Officer. The other Sapphire attack, and we respond with Sharply Dressed, destroying the one cost minion. They destroy Phoenix, and it's phase for two, which I don't really mind because we are winning next turn. We summon Sheila, a uh, three green color in trash, and then summon Gourmet to deal one burn. Moving Roth to attack face, burn one, and finish them off. Well, that's all the replay I got for today. Uh, sorry if I sound a little bit different, I'm recording in god knows what time it is in the morning. Uh, but anyway, Vampire is really fun to play now, and I would say it's one of the meta contender in my opinion. Um, a few days ago I saw a Vampire build, build with Lachesis, uh, which you can experiment with, but I think uh, this build is more versatile when dealing with a uh, various opponent and isn't dependent on one card to win the games well i hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time bye